Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. I finally got out of this BBRY. I just wanted to do an update on this. It didn't break the low. I, I do think it does break the low. I don't know if it's going to do it today, and I don't feel like being in this until the close. It may very well do it until into the close, and if it doesn't, I bet it gets down here tomorrow morning. So this this is kind of like a good overnight hold because I'm I like have a hundred percent conviction that if this doesn't break the low here today, it's gonna to gap down in this range tomorrow morning and just kinda of go right into the area. So this will probably gap down tomorrow, but I'm not gonna do this tomorrow. Anyways, it's a nice little um chart uh because the follow through will go back down into the ten dollar area here. So if it, it, you know, for a swing trade, it's really down here to ten dollars or nine eighty ish, which is a buck um you know, way. And that certainly could get there in a couple of days. Remember, the market rallied today and all this happened here against the market. So there's nothing wrong with this thing. Um, so let's just look at it in here in the 15 minutes. So again, I didn't do this right away in the uh, aggressive play in the morning, uh, but it had a nice drop down in here. And if you did it aggressively, it worked. And if I had done it in the morning, it would have been all out. There, here was the 15 minute. The 15 minute here was right here when it triggered 97 and then the stop here over this area over 1109. When this came down in here and dropped, it didn't break. Well, it did by two pennies, but not hard enough. It kind of bounced, which was weird. Um, I assumed that it would break. It didn't do it right. Then it rallied back all the way up here. It didn't hold the whole number, which was odd, but you could have done it again in here or even done an ad in here and lower the stop then where? Here. Right over here. Okay. So then it broke and fell down into here. Try to break, try to break all this time in here. I'm waiting for this to break and it just can't do it. It's, it was unbelievable. And then this happened here and I still didn't kill it. I still didn't kill it. I was wanting it to break. It didn't do it. I still didn't kill it here. Again, this comes back to understanding what is a, when is the time to do a buy setup and when's the time to do a sell setup? There's no buy setups in this today. The stock's in a downtrend and gap down. So you don't buy this, you don't buy this, you don't buy this. I don't like this. This is squiggly, but really this is a zigzag pattern. And that's how this did it today. This is not an ideal favorite pattern for me. I recognize it. It's not my favorite pattern to play, but it didn't do anything really wrong except for not break the low. So I made money in this today, but you know, wanted it to go. Just isn't going to do it. And there's no arguing with it here. I can't force this to go. I can take all the shares I want. I'm not going to make it break. So I just decided to take it off with the money I made in it. I'm sure this is going to gap under that basey area there tomorrow morning. Uh, but you know, it depends where it does. If it gaps down to set 1070 or 1060 or 1050, well, if it gaps down here, it could just go. But if it gaps down snugly in here, it might flip around tomorrow. So I'm not going to do anything with this tomorrow. It had a nice little play in it today. Just had all the potential in the world to break. Market's too strong. Market's too strong, holding in thin air, and this is weak. Weak in its own and weak by itself, but not ready to break yet for whatever reason. Will, though, for sure. And uh, this is BBRY. Uh, this is a nice gap in here today with the Stocks Will Show. It is September 10th. If you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class this weekend, September 14th and 15th, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.